I'm gonna be showing you guys every single working glitch in season 4 of Cold War Zombies. Make sure to like and subscribe if this does help you. Before I start this video, I do have a free Dark Ether giveaway on my channel right now. The instructions are in the pinned comment down below. Do that and you'll be entered into the giveaway. You can also buy any service you want from this Discord link, such as Instant Dark Ether, Level 1000, and more Cold War tools and hacks. The first glitch is an AFK glitch. You're gonna need to make your way down to the East Berlin Street. Once you get here, you're gonna see this blue car. First, you wanna go on the truck then you want to jump from the truck to the blue car and if done correctly all the zombies will stand still once you jump on the blue car two things can happen either the zombies will stay still or they'll just immediately attack you if that happens you did it incorrectly this glitch is great for getting critical kills since all the zombies are standing still and you can easily get headshots but what can happen is that the zombies can spawn out of your field of view if this does happen you have to get out of the glitch and kill the zombies manually the good thing is even when this does happen you can quickly get out of this glitch kill the zombies and quickly get back in. I don't think the panzer is affected by this glitch, but that's why I recommend having ring of fire to easily kill it. This is an unlimited XP glitch. In the destroyed penthouse, but you want to come over here. You also want to make sure you have 1,500 points. Then you want to jump on the zip line. If done correctly, you can also mantle up on top of it and you will fall down to the East Berlin streets. So you also want to make sure you have a self revive. You want to crawl over to where I'm going right now. And then we, once you get a bit closer, you want to use your self revive. As soon as you use your self revive, you want to go open this gate and you will stop taking damage. Most of the time when you come down here, the Tempest will also be down here too. So you want to make sure to kill the Tempest and you want to also make sure to pick up its fuse. It might be a little tricky because you will take damage, but if done correctly, you can get it and you have to run back inside. Once you pick up the fuse, you want to go over to the power room and you want to turn on the power and insert the first fuse. Then you want to go around looking for the next Tempest, but you want to also make sure not to pass the death barrier and go into the East Berlin streets. I found the Tempest in the sewer access room and all you have to do is kill it and pick up its fuse. Then you want to go back to the power room and insert the fuse. Then you want to turn on the power and that's the whole step complete. Once you fully turn on the power, you want to make your way back to the East Berlin streets and you want to come over to the blue car here. You also want to make sure you don't pass any death barrier then you want to stay exactly where I do behind this car and if done correctly all the zombies will go to the window I'm looking at and they will start moving back and forth in that window this glitch is really effective because the zombies keep moving back and forth in that window but every now and then a zombie will come behind you and attack you but you can simply kill them the only real two places the zombies actually come from are from the door and they go back and forth in the window which makes this really good for high rounds the only bad thing about this glitch is that the panzer does spawn in and it will kill you unless you have ring of fire and quickly kill it i'm gonna be showing you guys a new afk pile glitch make your way to the corber rooftop of the map mauer der toten then you just want to make your way to this box over here you want to jump mantle on this and you want to move back a little bit it might take you a few tries it did take me a while to do it but once you do it all the zombies will begin to pile up below you this glitch isn't too good because the zombies can end up throwing their meat at you after a while but it works well in the earlier rounds you can pick up all drops and power-ups in this spot but the only thing you have to worry about is the panzer that comes after round 10. By then this glitch shouldn't be too effective anyway so I recommend hopping off this glitch and going to a next one. First you want to do the glitch to skip the first door by knife lunging the zombie like I do. Then you want to go and enter the teleporter and turn on the power in all three locations. Here are the locations. The first one to activate is in the mission control room. The second one to activate is in the data center. The third one you have to activate is in the military command ether reactor. You should have done all this by round 5 and once you do that you want to go back inside the teleporter and you want to wait around 30 seconds to one minute for the zombies to start spawning in as you can see on my screen when the zombies do spawn in they will go afk in that one spot but what you want to do is kill them then you want to come to the spot where i am and you want to go exactly there now you're going to see when the zombies do spawn in they all will walk right past you except there will be a zombie every now and then that will attack you but a lot of times they'll run away if you don't kill them this glitch is actually insane because when you do stay here all the zombies will just run right past you and you can kill them with whenever you want so that's why i recommend having an ar or an smg not a close range gun because the zombies will go back and forth pretty far away from you this glitch affects all types of zombies including the manglers and the mimics and it'll work in the later rounds too which makes it extremely effective another way you can do this glitch is by charging up your either shroud then you want to come where i do use it then you want to do exactly what i do but you want to go over here this time and then you can kill all the zombies this way and you'll have the same effect 
The next glitch is a pile of glitch. This glitch is extremely simple and it doesn't require anything else. All you want to do is make your way to the scorch defense. You want to come over to these sandbags or whatever these things are. Then you want to look where I do. You want to go where I do. You want to jump and mantle up on this thing and move a little bit backwards. And if done correctly, all the zombies will walk towards you and they'll pile up right below you. I'm not too sure how effective this glitch is against the bosses, but it works against the zombies. This glitch is a little hard to do because if you do it wrong, the zombies will start throwing their meat at you, but once you get the right positioning, this glitch is perfect. I recommend using this glitch for XP and camos because the zombies pile up below you so you can get easy headshots. The third glitch I have is a pile of glitch. Make your way to these boxes in the helipad, and then all you want to do is jump while you're backpedaling, so what you want to do is jump and hold your analog stick backwards, and if done correctly, you will be in the glitch. It might be a a little tricky but i recommend just jumping and then moving your analog stick back for like a second or like half a second it makes it so much easier but it is extremely worth it in the end because all the zombies pile up right below you making it extremely easy to get camos this glitch could also be used as an afk glitch but i recommend using it as a pile glitch just because a megaton or any of the other elites can spawn in in the middle of each round as you can see this glitch works on the other boxes too it gives the same effect and you just have to do the exact same thing i'm going to be showing you guys every single way you can skip the first door in firebase z now the first method is by using the either shroud so you want to make sure you have the either shroud ready for the first method you want to follow exactly where i go then when you come to the edge you want to just use your either shroud if done correctly you will be on the balcony and you can skip the first door straight to the teleporter now for the second glitch you want to do the same thing by jumping onto this little thing then you want to jump up and use your either shroud if done correctly you will be on the balcony again and you can skip the first door straight to the teleporter now for the next glitch all you want to do is come over these boxes here you want to stand exactly where i do then you want to jump and use your either shroud if done correctly you will be on the balcony again and you can do the same things as before now the last method is probably the hardest method but what you want to do is make your way to this fence in the courtyard you want to make sure you have a zombie running towards you and all you want to do is prop up against a fence and knife and you will be boosted into the air this is also the best method since you could do this on round one make your way to the scorch defense you want to come over here then you want to mantle up on this thing while backpedaling so for what that means is you want to mantle on it while you're holding the left analog stick backwards and if done correctly the zombies will begin to pile up right below you when you first do this the zombies will throw their meat at you but once you kill those zombies you're going to be in complete god mode as you can see on my screen all the zombies come really close to me but they just stop all of a sudden which makes it really easy to get headshots and weapon xp i also recommend to get off this glitch really quickly pick up all the drops then quickly get back on it too between rounds you also have an ammo box right in front of you so you're pretty much set in the spot this next glitch is a pilot glitch and the footage is by warfighter v7 his channel will be in the description below go subscribe to him Now the next glitch is a pile of glitch. Make your way to the Scorch defense, you want to walk exactly where I do, then you just want to jump on mantle on this invisible barrier. If done correctly, your feet will be floating and all the zombies will pile up right below you. This glitch is pretty hard to get into so it might take a few tries but in the end it does work really well. This glitch is really good for weapon camos and weapon XP just because all the zombies do pile up right below you so you can get easy critical kills and lots of weapon XP. I'm pretty sure you can also pick up some drops and power ups too. I'm not too sure if the mimics or manglers can kill you but, but I recommend having ring of fire just in case. So before we start the glitch which I recommend you guys have juggernaut and stamina up and this is less necessary but I recommend you guys have stims and stuns. So to start off the glitch you will need to at least two zombies but I do recommend more if you're having trouble with it but pretty much you need two zombies walking in a line right behind you and you want to follow you want them to follow you exactly where I go and then once you reach here you want to go prone and you want to keep spamming your prone button and if done correctly you will be under the map. Sometimes what can happen in this glitch is that you can get stuck in between the plane and the zombies 
but a way to fix this is by looking back at the zombies and then making them down you. And then once you get downed, you can just push your left stick a little bit back and then you will be down under the map. So as soon as you fall under the map, you should be here. You will start taking damage. So you want to use your stims and you want to quickly get out of here by using the exact path I do and you'll stop taking damage. So I don't recommend you guys to wander off too far because you can fall under the map and fall to your death. So I recommend coming here where I am right behind this rock and you want to stay here because you can look up and kill all the zombies from here you can melee them too which is good in case you run out of ammo but if you do run out of ammo there is an ammo crate really close by i also recommend getting the wonder weapon just in case because it does have unlimited ammo but it isn't necessary at all make your way to the pond you want to come over to this truck then you want to do exactly what i do by running and sprinting into this thing on screen so it may take a few tries but you just want to keep moving back and forth and sprinting into this and you're gonna know if you did it correctly if your feet start floating up in the air now the zombies will go afk and they will pile up where you jumped into the truck the dogs and zombies will pile up but the megatons can still hit you in this glitch so you want to make sure you kill them fast by equipping ring of fire you can't pick up any drops or power-ups in this glitch all the zombies pretty much go afk so it makes it super easy to get critical kills for your camos now these are all the glitches i have for you guys today if you need help or if any of these don't work let me know in the comments down below thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys later peace out